Hey guys, it's me, Monstrous Pegasus, and welcome to another edition of MPS Hunger Games Simulator. And this Hayes theme is Terrific Trios, and in no particular order, I'll just list off our districts, our tributes. Sorry, I can't talk today. District 1, we have Reinhardt Lindholm, Reinhardt Wilhelm Torbjorn Lindholm, and his daughter Brigitte from Overwatch. District 2, we have Lock, Shock, and Barrel from The Nightmare Before Christmas. District 3, we have Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Goofy. District 4, we have Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and Scootaloo. District 5, we have Moana, Maui, and Hey Hey. Special thanks to um, Shepard Kins for giving me that idea. District 6, we have Eddie, Eddie, <laughs> District 7, we have Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup, the Powerpuff Girls. District 8, we have Jesse, James, and Meowth from Team Rocket. District 9, we have Yakko, Wacko, and Dodd the Mortars. District... <coughs> District 10, we have Bob, Dr. Cockroach, PhD, and the Missing Link from Monsters vs. Aliens. Whatever you do, don't listen to what Jello Apocalypse has to say about this movie. None of it is true. Anyway, District 11, we have Pusheen, Stormy, and Pip. In District 12, we have Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl, but no Stephen. I might add Steven in another episode. Okay, let's begin to the bloodbath. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Da, 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 da. Meow finds a... Sorry, my dogs were being stupid. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, Meow finds a backpack full of campy equipment. James finds a canteen full of water. Donald runs away, Buttercup runs away, Pip runs away, Pushing grabs a backpack not realizing it is empty, Wacko and Pearl get in a fight with Hey Hey and Goofy. Hey Hey and Goofy both survive. Okay, so Wacko and Pearl fight, die right off the bat. Sorry guys, Scootaloo runs away. <coughs> Dismissing Link severely slides his double J with a sword. Alright, two of the end boys are already dead. Didn't see that coming. Beryl runs away, Brigitte runs away, Maui grabs a backpack and retreats. Locke runs away, Sweetie Belle runs away, Doc grabs a shovel, Bob grabs a backpack and retreats. Mickey clutches a first aid kit and runs away. Sounds like something you can get. Ed runs away. Ed, you better... You better avenge your fallen brothers. Bubbles clutches a first aid kit and runs away. Again, very in character. Jesse receives a trident from inside the cornucopia. Blossom runs into the cornucopia and hides. Stormy also grabs a first aid kit. How many are in that thing? Dacker runs away. Amethyst runs away. Torbjorn snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. He's probably looking for Brigitte just to make sure that she doesn't die in this game. Eddie finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Okay, Eddie isn't dead. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Shock steps off her podium too soon and blows up. Okay! Reinhardt runs away. Apple runs away. Runs away. Dr. Cockroach runs away. Moana runs away. And Garnet finds a canteen full of water. Not sure if she's gonna use that later, but okay. Day one. Hey, hey defeats Reinhardt in a fight but spares his life. Not sure how that's gonna work. Mickey kills Apple Bloom with her own weapon. Did Apple Bloom even get a weapon? I don't know. Dot diverts Moana's attention and runs away. Sounds like something she'd do. The missing link attempts to climb a tree but falls to his death. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Jesse questions her sanity. I mean, I wouldn't blame her, considering what happened just now. Amethyst sprains her ankle while running away from Torbjorn. I didn't know gems could sprain their ankles, but whatever. Donald discovers a cave. James makes a wooden spear. Pip and Buttercup work together for the day. Yeah, I can see them teeing up. Blossom, Eddie, Brigitte, Gunner, and Scootaloo hunt for other tributes. Pusheen diverts Dr. Cockroach's attention and runs away. Meowth stalks Ed. Don't know why you'd do that, but okay. Stormy and Maui hunt for other tributes. Goofy constructs a shack. Not knowing, don't know how that's gonna work. Sweetie Belle makes a wooden spear. 
Farrell attempts to bolus his wounds. Bob injures himself. I don't know how he did that because he's supposed to be indestructible. I'll have you know that I've become indestructible. Okay, I'll stop. I don't want to disturb to sue me. Yakko makes a wooden spear. Locke explores the arena. Six cannon shots can be heard in the distance for Wacko, Pearl, Double D, Shock, Apple Bloom, and the Missing Link. May they all rest in peace. Okay, let's move on. Night one. James is awoken by nightmares. Not surprised. <sighs> Torbjorn, Garnet, Jesse, and Yakko tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Reinhardt is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Why aren't you with Torbjorn? He probably just did a molten core and just started a fire doing that. Or Garnet unfused and used Ruby to start a fire. Okay, I think that was a bad idea to put Ruby Garnet in this, because she's kind of OP, but oh well. <laughs> hey, hey, Swo- Hey, hey, throws a knife into Sweetie Belle's head. I, I didn't expect him to kill anybody, but he managed to do that. Mickey receives medical supplies for an unknown sponsor. Where's your first aid kit, Mickey? Where was that? Mona, well, Mona receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Probably her parents. Pusheen, Blossom, and Bob sleep in shifts. Maui and Scootaloo huddle for warmth. Goofy tries to treat his infection. And he throws a knife into Ed's head! <laughs> I guess that's Eddie's way of saying, I was never really on your side anyway. Something like that. Dot looks at the night sky. Dr. Crocker attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. You can build a laptop with a pizza box, two cans of paper. You can build a computer with a pizza box, two cans of hairspray, and a paper clip, but you can't start a fire. Can someone explain to me how that makes sense? Locke convinces Pip to snuggle with him. I mean, yeah, who wouldn't want to snuggle with a fl fluffy little kitty? Buttercup goes to sleep. She probably needs it. She's like six. Meowth passes out from exhaustion. Donald Duck dies from an infection. Bubbles climbs the tree to rest. I mean, you could just pew right on up the tree, but whatever. Feral lets Amethyst into his shelter. Stormy throws a knife into Brigitte's head. Again, I'm not sure how that, that's possible. Day two. Goofy receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Yakko poisons Scootaloo's drink, but mistakes it for his own and dies. Um, you're supposed to be the leader of the Warners, right? I thought you'd be smarter than that. I mean, I haven't seen that much Animaniacs, but jeez. Dr. Cockroach practices his archery. I make, see him making a machine or something in order to do that, but whatever. Bubbles receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Hey, hey, and pushes Reinhardt and kills him. Uh, again, I think that should be the other way around. Why? How come... Reinhardt keeps losing to Hey Hey. Shouldn't that be all the other way around? Okay, whatever. Farrell discovers a river. Eddie tends to Dot's wounds. James stresses for his fish for the trident. Pip, Stormy, Blossom, Garnet, and Amethyst hunt for other tributes. Meowth attacks Moana, but she manages to escape. Not surprised there. Locke begs for Jesse to kill him. She refuses keeping just keeping Locke alive. Torpion chases Mickey. Buttercup makes a slingshot. Maui for Bob, begs for Bob to kill him. He refuses keeping Maui alive. I mean, first of all, I don't know how Bob would manage to do that because he literally doesn't have a brain. And secondly, I don't think Bob's the killing type. I mean, yeah, with the help of four other monsters, he Save the freaking world, but I don't know, that's just my two cents. Pusheen is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Six cannon shots can be heard in the distance for Sweetie Belle, Ed, Donald, Brigitte, Yakko, and Reinhardt. Seriously, I'm not sure why Eddie would betray you like that. I mean, aren't you supposed to help him make money or something? I just don't get it. I mean, it's nowhere 
It's just about as bad as Pom Pom betraying Homestar in that one episode. Night two. Moana accidentally steps on a landmine. Dr. Cockroach, did you put that there? Stormy climbs a tree to rest. Meow. Yeah, she's a cat. I can see her doing that. Blossom receives explosive from an unknown sponsor. Okay, maybe it was Bubbles. I mean, Blossom who put that there. Pusheen looks at the night sky. Mickey and Scootaloo hold hands. Hooves, I guess. Bob and Beryl hold hands. Okay, that's not really as surprising, because Bob can just materialize arms out of his body, but whatever. Blossom shoots an arrow in mouth, but misses and kills Hey Hey instead. Yes! Buttercup, thank you! You killed the killer chicken! And I am not talking about Scootaloo! Thank you, Blood Buttercup! Though I would have been surprised if Hey Hey won, by any circumstance, not counting this one. Locke convinces Jesse to snuggle with him. I guess Locke has a crush on Jesse now, because she spared his life, or something like that. Dot and Garrett tell stories about themselves to each other. Amethyst loses sight of where she is. Corbgarn thinks about home. Pip is awoken by nightmares. James receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Bubbles and Eddie track down and kill Woody. I mean, what? I mean, Goofy. Goofy was never really that bright, but... Jeez! These kids are ruthless. I'm not too surprised about Bubbles, though. Maui accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. Okay! Team Moana has no luck when it comes to... When it comes to landmines. And they're all dead, so... Dr. Kako sets up camp for the night. Day 3. Pusheen makes a slingshot. Meowth makes a wooden spear. Locke picks flowers. I wouldn't really see him doing that, but whatever. Scootaloo tries to sleep through the entire day. James receives cleave water. Mickey defeats Amethyst in a fight but spares her life. Yeah, I'd see him doing that. Locke picks flowers. Okay, that's a little bit more in character. Eddie receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Whoever gave him that hatchet must really regret his decisions immediately after, because... Did you see what he did to Ed? He's a freaking monster! Sorry, Bob and Dr. Cockroach, I wasn't talking about you. Bubbles tries to sleep through the entire day. Wise choice. Barrel searches for a water source. Oh my gosh. Garnet stabs Bubbles- I mean, Garnet stabs Blossom while her back is turned. What the crap? I thought you two were friends. Jesse picks flowers. Stormy, Buttercup, Bob, and Pip raid Dr. Cockroach's camp while he's asleep, while he's hunting. Bob, why would you portray one of your friends like that? Not cool, dude. Not cool. Torbjorn practices his archery. <laughs> Proceed. Five cannon shots can be heard in the distance from Moana, Hey Hey, Goofy, Maui, and Blossom. Sorry, Shepherdkins. Your tributes are dead. Night three. Locke goes to sleep. Eddie tends to his wounds. <sighs> Scootaloo, Buttercup, and Torbjorn discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Pip, Pusheen, Jesse, and Bubbles. I mean, Pusheen, Jesse, Bubbles, and Dot sleep at shifts. Bob thinks about home. Yeah, good old Area 50 something. I mean,. I guess staying in the same place for 50 years is much better than this. Meowth and Garnet run into each other and decide for the truce for the night. Yeah, after seeing what Garnet did to Blossom, I wouldn't blame him. Farrell tries to treat his infection. Dr. Cockroach receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Answer Hugh Laurie, evil laugh here. Yeah, I'm dead serious. Dr. Cockroach is voiced by Hugh Laurie. I bet you want to see it now, don't you ladies? <laughs> Sorry. Stormy tends to pip's wounds. You gotta help your brother out. They're literally siblings, like adopted. Yeah, whatever. Amethyst thinks about home. <sighs> James shoots a poisonous blow dart into Mickey's neck, slowly killing him. Oh my gosh. 
Mickey, you were doing so good! Day 4. Bubbles locked Torbjorn in James Rain Barrel's camp while he's hunting. Again, someone betraying their fellow tribute. What the crap? Garnet, Dot, and Meowth get into a fight. Dot triumphantly kills them both! Jeez! I know I shouldn't have let the Warners in here. They're OP. Amethyst and Buttercup work together for the day. Yeah, I can see that happening. Dr. Cockroach convinces Scootaloo not to kill him, only to kill her instead. <sighs> oh my gosh! What the crap? <laughs> I, I know he's not a quack, he's a mad scientist and all, but I never thought he'd do something like this. Jessie questions her sanity. Second time she's done that, I want to blame her. Pip attempts the calamity. Pip attempts the calamity, but falls on Stormy, killing them both. Well, crap! A Pip, well, Pip's still a kitten, so I can see him messing up on climbing a tree, I guess. Eddie convinces, receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Pusheen tracks down and kills Bob! I mean... She must be really salty about both her siblings dying, but how the crap did she manage to kill Bob? Like I said, he's indestructible. Sorry. I really don't- I need to stop singing that. I don't want to get sued. <coughs> Seven cannon shots can be heard in the distance for Mickey, Garnet, Meowth, Scootaloo, Pip, Stormy, and Bob. Hold on, let me check something. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, we got ten tributes left. Okay, let's continue. Bubbles tries to sing herself to sleep. Makes the world go round. Buttercup quietly hums. Maybe she's trying to join her, trying to feel better about their sister dying. James screams for help. Barrel receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. It's probably trick-or-treat candy. Eddie, Torbjorn, and Jesse start fighting, but Torbjorn runs away as Eddie kills Jesse. I mean, I wouldn't blame him for running away. Eddie is still a freaking savage. I wouldn't be surprised if he wins. Dot looks up in the night sky. We should need Amethyst pedal for warmth. Again, I'd understand with Amethyst hanging out with a kitty cat. Maybe she shapeshifted into a cat just to... Hang out with her. Block also screams for help. Dr. Cockroach steps at camp for the night. <laughs> Duff Feast! Duff Feast! We go into Duff Feast! The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Earl decides not to go. Eddie steals Buttercup's memoirs. James doesn't go. Buttercup decides not to go. You know, for a dumb blind, the... She, that's kind of out of character, but still a good decision. Torbjorn shoots a poisonous blow dart into Dr. Cockroach's neck, slowly killing him. I mean, he is part cockroach, so I guess he, him being crushed or something wouldn't kill him, but that certainly does. I guess that's the only way. I mean, he was a savage, but not as much as Eddie, so yeah. Ping and Luck get into a fight with Amethyst and Dot. Pusheen and Luck survive. Pusheen? What the crap? I thought you and Amethyst were friends. Day 5. James is pricked by Florence while picking berries. Eddie dies from hunger. Good riddance. Bubbles tends to Pusheen's wounds. So in character, it's scary. Lock and Barrel hunt for other tributes. Torbjorn and Buttercup split up and search for resources. Arena event. The Sorry, I ran out of time. Okay, arena event. The arena's border begins to rapidly contract. That means it's getting really small. Torbjorn survives. Bubbles survives. Fushin pushes James into the corner while well, he isn't paying attention. 
I mean, I haven't seen Pokemon in a while, but I guess that's kind of in character. Barrel survives, Buttercup survives, Lock trips on a tree branch and is unable to recover fast enough. Okay, seven cannon shots can be heard in the distance for Jesse, Dr. Cockroach, PhD, Amethyst, Dot, Eddie, James, and Locke. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna check who all is left. Okay, we have five tributes left. Let's see who wins. Night five. Buttercup receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. <sighs> Torb going tries to treat his infection. Pusheen bubbles headed against a rock several times. What the crap, Pusheen? After all bubbles has done for you, you decide to stab her in the back? Uh, not literally, but still. Barrel receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Jeez, everything's going to barrel. Day 6. Torbjorn receives medical supplies. Pusheen defeats Beryl in a fight that spares his life. Buttercup dies from thirst. Aw. What a way to go. I mean, you're the toughest fighter. I didn't expect you to go like that. Two can shots can be heard in the distance for Bubbles and Buttercup. Night 6. Pusheen receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Beryl tends to Torbjorn's runes. I mean, since Brigitte is gone, who else should he tend to? Day 7. Torbjorn camouflages himself in the bushes. Beryl makes a wooden spear. Pusheen questions her sanity. Wouldn't blame her. No one's dying right now. Pusheen, Torbjorn, and Beryl sleep in shifts. Day 8. Torbjorn hunts for other tributes. Beryl attacks Pusheen, but she managed to, to escape. No one died. Pusheen tends to Beryl's wounds. Torbjorn dies from hypothermia. What the crap, Torbjorn? What happened to your molten core? Does that not exist anymore? Day 9. Pusheen is unable to convince Beryl not to kill her. Okay! I guess that means Beryl wins! Beryl is the winner from District 2! Oh my gosh! That could have been the longest Hunger Games I've ever simulated. And Pusheen has the most kills. Right next to Hey Hey. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what other Hunger Games Sims I should do next, and until then, I'll see you next time. Bye!